In the last few tutorials, we've gone over envelope automation. In the process, you write in these envelope points on the automation lanes. Sometimes you might find you want to go in and tweak these points. You could select a point and go in and move it, but there are better ways of doing this that are more accurate. Another thing to keep in mind is that these points snap to the grid. So if you don't want them to snap, just disable the grid over here. Now they move a bit more freely. Here's a better way to go and edit these envelope points. I'm working with this frequency parameter of the EQ. So bring up the plugin. You can right click the effects button here and choose the EQ. It brings up the EQ in a floating window and I'm just gonna move it to the top right over here. Now when I click on each envelope point, the parameters change on the plugin. So I can go into each envelope point and see its value. Now I can go in and edit each of these points more accurately. First make sure you're not in read mode or else you won't write anything in. I'm gonna choose touch because I don't want to override any automation that I've already written in. Now choose one of the envelope points. I'll place my cursor on the first envelope point over here. Let's say I want this frequency a bit higher. I can drag this up and it writes in the changes in the automation lane. Let's go down to one of these points. Let's say I want to drop the frequency a bit more over here. But I also want to change the bandwidth. As soon as I make some changes, it creates an automation lane here for it in the bottom and writes in the changes. So I can go back to this point and start changing the bandwidth here as well. Jump here. Let's make some changes as well. And everything is written in to the respective automation lanes. Let me scroll down a bit more so you can see exactly what's happening. I'll make some changes to this point with the bandwidth and frequency. There's some extra points here that I don't need, so I'm gonna go in and delete them. Remember, you can use the shortcut to do this. Jump across to the next point and make some frequency changes. Also, some bandwidth changes. Scroll to the next point and just go along and edit these points. So after you've done your automation, you can always go back in and edit the envelope points. It's really handy how you can fine tune the results like this. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the mouse modifiers and the shortcut keys to speed up your workflow when you're in the mixing phase. Catch you in the next tutorial.